Hello from Chicago, Alan Nuckman, high above the trading floor at the CME Group, talking energy, focusing on crude with a little gas, obviously, thrown in here. 46.25, 47.25, wrong handle there. 47.25 was the close, actually unchanged on the day. So after the reversal yesterday, holding ground, 47.30 was a high, 46.50 was the low. So it was all about Harvey this week. It's been a wild week in this market. Uh, market in crude made highs for the October contract on Monday at 48.20, dipped down on Thursday, made some new relative lows there, new 30-day lows at 45.60, and bounced back, and it was above 47 on a closing basis yesterday, and held that ground today. So, net-net, it was about a 50-cent loss on a week, not a big deal, but importantly, tested the support, went, dipped below it, and then came back once again, and importantly, we're above 47. We've talked about this number before, so above 47, is still positive in that crude complex from here on out. So the news was in, in gasoline, more so than crude oil. Uh, gasoline uh, today made some new relative highs during the session. So it got up to 178, so there was a new highs for the October contract, new multi-month, multi-year highs, I guess. Uh, but then closed lower, so that's a reversal, a possible key reversal, and that also happened on lower volume. So it traded about 100,000 contracts today versus 160,000 contracts yesterday. So new highs, lower close, lower volume, so that possibly could be uh, a top in that uh, gasoline contract, so we'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see. Now, let's talk about the other fundamentals driving the market. Really, it's all about Harvey. And we had some uh, inventory numbers this week that were m a bigger drop than we expected. But we also had some interesting action because of the rig rise. So the, the rig count rose three for this week, which in itself is not that big a deal. But in the bigger picture, analysts had expected that this incident obviously would uh, impact uh, the number of rigs online. They were looking for a 10% decrease uh, and then a 50% decrease in the... Um, Eagle Ford area that would be suspended by this by this storm. Not so. So we actually had a positive uh, week in rigs. So the total is now 943 of 446 from last year. If you total oil and gas, just oil, it's 759 up 352 from this time last year. So the rig rise continues uh, in not that strong, but positive uh, when it was expected to be down. So that's a big difference. Net net oil. Uh, it's back inside that $47 to $50 channel that we've talked about every time I'm on, on the air here. We're back inside that channel. We had tested 47 and then came back up inside on a weekly basis. That's why I look at things on a weekly basis to kind of factor out some of that volatility, some of that noise. So an upside breakout above 50 targets 53. A sustained move below 47 on a closing weekly basis would target 44 on the downside. So we're still in a wait and hold pattern. Crude oil unchanged today, down 50 cents on the week.